The nation's number two chain of coffee houses started right here in Minnesota. Now Caribou is looking to grow, but not only in coffee. They're adding partnerships with tea and with bagels. This morning, De Russia Eats at the new concept, the hometown coffee giant hopes will hit the spot. In a prime spot in its hometown of Minneapolis, Caribou Coffee is brewing up its next generation flagship store. It's got Caribou Coffee, um, Einstein bagels, and Argo tea all under one roof. Jennifer Hagnes is a director at Caribou. Einstein and Caribou have the same CEO, the same parent company. But this is the first Minnesota spot to include Chicago-based Argo tea. There's really nothing in the market like it. So we're just so excited to bring a tea company that thinks about tea the same way that we think about coffee, which is very artisanal. They care about the growers, they care about the quality. It's very similar to our philosophy at Caribou and just think it's a perfect match. Argo has grown quickly over the last decade with loose teas and creative tea-based drinks. And a little chai, that's nice, the masala. Very nice. In the news store, Caribou is looking for people who want the health benefits of tea drinks. So let's make you the hibiscus apple cider. So I'm going to start with ice. And do you want it sparkling or still? Let's go still. As well as the one-stop shop benefits of getting a drink and a bagel. Consumers are busy, absolutely. I mean, they've got a lot to get done every day, and so the opportunity to have a place where they can get their, their breakfast, their lunch, their snack, and a great beverage in one location. You're basically going to pick one up. You're going to drop it in the cornmeal. Be gentle with it, because we want the presentation to look really nice. You're going to drop it in the everything topper. Okay. And then you're going to lay it on the sheet. They interviewed potential bagel bakers at 2 in the morning because that's when it's time to start making the bagels. Moment of truth. Great nah, job. Okay. Great job. You're being too kind, I think. <laughs> the different teas are on tap at a coffee and tea bar. Caribou is also selling single origin coffee sourced from the same farm. We've had relationships with coffee for years, and so we're really bringing forth some of those really great small farm partnerships with a new offering this year. Which you've always had. Always had. We're just bringing it to market a little bit different, talking a little bit more about the stories, sampling in store. They call their position playful premium, searching for high-end quality without being snobby. The idea is that you can come in and that you're comfortable, you can be a little quirky, you can have fun and still have great food and beverages. So Caribou tells me the plan is to have four of these combo stores in the Twin Cities and then watch and see how it goes. If it works, they'll do more. If it doesn't, they'll cut it loose. I just found out this morning that the new stores are going to be in the Wells Fargo Tower, downtown Minneapolis. There will be a new store in Edina and then in White Bear Lake, they're remodeling a store and they'll put it there. So they'll be able to test a you know, closer urban suburban, a little more out, a couple downtown stores and see how it goes. I think it's great. I love that you can be, you can go and get you know your favorite bagel if you're if you're an Einstein's fam and then also still get the coffee that you might want instead of having to go to a couple different yep, places. That's very nice. And it's a beautiful space. I just went over this morning. We've yeah. seen Starbucks like trying to enter introduce alcohol into their stores. All right. these stores are, you know, you pay rent around the clock, right? So they're trying to extend their business day from just the morning when you're getting the coffee throughout the day. Hmm.